Welcome to another episode of the Seattle Shoot Lie. It's been a while since I posted a couple of weeks I've uh, been traveling uh, around. But today I have a couple of uh, items I will review. I've been also asked to review uh, some of the watches I collect. Um, so let's begin with that. Um, today I'm going to, I'm wearing a vintage, vintage uh, Patek Philippe Calatrava. It's a 34 millimeter in size. It's a pretty elegant, one of the most elegant watches I have. Um, if you can see it, it's very simple, very elegant, uh, doesn't even have a date. It's a very formal watch, extremely thin on a pathet um, alligator strap with a solid gold pathet bottle. It's um, white gold, uh, keeps um, time well, and it has, uh, once I wind it, it's a hand wound watch. Uh, it'll last about 48 hours. All right, that's about the watch. Uh, a gentleman always should have an elegant watch that always goes with a pair of shoes. Today, I am pleased to announce that I've got a fantastic deal on Allen Edmonds. I'm not a big fan of Allen Edmonds due to the price point and the quality they produce at that price point. They're all made in the United States. <clears throat> And um, uh, three hundred and fifty, four hundred dollars for that quality of shoe is uh, it's it's tough. However, the summer is here in the Seattle area, and it's time to wear some casual shoes. So I did get a deal on Allen Edmonds website, um, and they're all about less than a hundred dollars, eighty nine dollars. But they are the most casual shoes, not the ones I usually wear. But for the summer, I thought I'm going to give it a go and see what I can do. So the first unboxing is going to be a pair of Allen Edmonds. I've not opened it yet, right? It's called the Alpha War One Pewter Shoe, right? Um, it comes in a pretty nice box. Wrapped in tissue, let me see. Blue and blue and beige tissue is what they have wrapped in. Huh. And here's the shoe. Two pairs. Interestingly enough, there is no shoe bags in this pair of shoes. So that's pretty interesting. Um okay, let's open it up. This is definitely a casual shoe comes with that. Now looking at this shoe, it looks like it's stitched, but I believe it is a cemented construction. It says Alan Edmonds. These are all made in the United States. Uh, actually, no, this is made in Vietnam. No wonder they can sell this for less than $100, you know? Uh, it's a, definitely a cemented construction, uh, glued, that's what it, that means. But um, it has a Groma sole. Again, now this is a company, uh, American brand, sending product to Vietnam and uh, selling shoes for less than $100. This is the thin end of the wedge. It's exactly going to be like the Johnston and Murphys um, and the Thole Hans. Once they start doing that, it's going to go downhill. But hopefully they will realize their error and uh, bring this back to an American made shoe. But for a one season, you know, I don't mind spending $89 wearing this down and chucking it. Disappointed that construction looks good though, even though it's from Vietnam. There are slight issues here, but uh, the stitching on the sole and the, it's it's probably a false, uh, false stitching looks pretty good. Inside lining looks good. I don't know how it wears and how the comfort. It has a cushioned. Um, 
insole I'm going to give it a try I like the the reason I bought it is I like the weave it looks like a Bottega Venetia weave but for $89 shipped I can wear this for a season or two and uh, chuck it well that's uh, my review I hope Alan Edmonds don't send stuff to Vietnam it's the low end of the uh, wedge uh, and uh, I, I wouldn't buy any more if I had known this was made in Vietnam but uh, I actually bought a few more and I will give you a review in uh, on my next episode thanks for listening and See you soon.